ever heard of a doctor whose book was the standard medical test book in Europe and the Muslim world for over 600 years? Yeah, before Europe had modern universities, Muslim had a genius named Ibn Sina, also known in the West as Avicenna. Ibn Sina was born way back in the year 980 in a small village near Bukhara, today's Uzbekistan. By the age of 10, he had already memorized the Quran. By 16, he was studying medicine, and at just 18 years old, he was a licensed physician. Not just that, he was curing patients that top doctors couldn't treat. But here is the wild part. He wasn't just a doctor. He was a philosopher, astronomer, mathematician, chemist, poet, all in one. He was a polymath. His most famous work is called the Canon of Medicine, or al Kanun fi al tib in Arabic. It wasn't just a book, it was a five-volume encyclopedia and over a million words. He covered everything from medicine to treatments to surgeries, how to diagnose, all of it centuries ahead of what the rest of the world was doing. This book was translated into Latin and used in medical schools across Europe from Italy to France until the 17th century. That's a 600 years of influence from a Muslim scholar in the 11th century. Ibn Sina proved that science and faith weren't enemies, they were partners. And he wasn't a lone genius, he was part of a civilization that valued learning, curiosity and research. So the next time someone tells you that Islam didn't contribute to science, tell them about Ibn Sina, the man who held the world breathe easier centuries before anesthesia.